On March 18, 2022, a swarm of earthquakes began underneath the Mount Hood volcano in the state of Oregon. Although minor earthquakes occur underneath the volcano on a monthly basis, these were occurring at far higher than normal levels. Over the next 12 hours, a series of 21 earthquakes rapidly occurred, representing what is typically 4 to 5 months of earthquake activity. These earthquakes occurred at primarily 4 to 5 kilometers depth, which is consistent with the known depth of Mount Hood's underlying magma chamber. So, is an eruption likely? What is the context of these earthquakes? This video will answer these two questions and discuss what might happen next at Mount Hood. For some context, Mount Hood is located in northwest Oregon where it is 48 miles east of the city of Portland. Of the 14 active volcanoes within the state, it has been the far most active during the last 1,000 years. Its last major eruptive episode lasted between 1781 and 1869, during which lengthy pyroclastic flows were generated by partial lava dome collapses on its southern flank. These collapses and associated steam explosions sent large volumes of ash and acidic material in what are termed lahars to the southeast and west down river channels, one of which reached the outskirts of Portland. Due to the threat of a similarly large lahar occurring in the future, Mount Hood has been extensively studied and is a thorough network of seismometers, temperature gauges which measure fumarole produced gas, and GPS sensors. It is through this network that the latest series of earthquakes were detected. These quakes were centered on the very southern flank of Mount Hood where they were nine-tenths of a mile west of Mount Hood Meadows. The 21 measured earthquakes were all relatively small, ranging from magnitude negative 0.5 to 1.7. To further indicate just how small these quakes were, none of them were large enough to be detected by anyone on the volcano at the time. Negative magnitude earthquakes can occur as the overall rating system which measures earthquake magnitude is logarithmic, so a magnitude 0 has 10 times less of an amplitude than a magnitude 1, and a magnitude negative 1 has 10 times less of an amplitude than a magnitude 0. Although these quakes did occur at the known depth of Hood's underlying magma chamber, their location suggests that their occurrence is not related to volcanic activity as its reservoir of molten rock is largely centered underneath its summit. Instead, these quakes occurred due to the movement of a north-northeast trending fault line in the area, which commonly ruptures in small amounts due to extensional forces in the vicinity. In other words, the quakes involved common active fault lines which are quite abundant in the western United States. Whenever an earthquake storm occurs at Mount Hood, it originates almost universally at one of four locations, which are labeled A through D on screen. 90% of these swarms, like the one which just occurred, originated at Site A. Two such earthquake swarms occurred there in 2021, one on June 5th and one on October 18th. While it could be argued that these quakes are related to pressure exerted by superheated water, this is difficult to prove. Site C earthquakes align with those seen in Site A, while Site B quakes are centered on a northwest trending fault line. The only area known to produce definitively volcanic earthquakes are just beneath the summit of Mount Hood, aka Site D. Quakes that have occurred there since regional sensors were in place were not related to the movement of magma, but rather hot water heated by underlying magma. Luckily, no earthquakes have occurred in this region during the current swarm, although one small volcanic earthquake did occur there on March 10th. Thus, Mount Hood's alert level remains at green, indicating normal levels of activity. As a final note, it is true that earthquake swarms have been slowly becoming more common over the years at Mount Hood. Thus, it is the second most likely volcano in the lower 48 states to erupt next, only after Mount St. Helens. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Veruca Salty for supporting this channel.